in this episode of Signal Guy, we're going to be reviewing an overdue project that I've had in mind as the demand for safer crosswalk increases. Well, Valera has done its part to optimize and provide what the industry needs. So stick around. This one should be an interesting one. Okay, so let's do it. Signal guy is not responsible for the misuse of misinterpretation of information contained in this video. So what we have here side to side is the two most recent models of the Polera CCU. This is the uh, older version, which is still in production, but uh, the newer, the newest model. This is the ICCU. I stands for intelligent. And you can see the differences quite uh, easily. One of the first ones that I came to appreciate was the display. The screen provides how to navigate through the screens without the need of the use of a laptop. As opposed to the older version, you would have to connect via USB to your laptop so you can interface with it the only display available was the LED lights which would light up depending on what and how many channels you were using on the ICCU model that's quite different you have a more interactive menu in which you can access pretty much all the options all the programming options that you need to get this system going and if that wasn't enough, you can activate the Wi-Fi. And in that way, you can access it via your laptop through the Wi-Fi signal. Or better yet, you can access it via your cell phone, which is the way we prefer to program these since we find it very easy to carry your cell phone with you rather than a laptop all across the intersection so not only that but you can also access the ICCU via Bluetooth so in case you're not able to do so via the Wi-Fi you can do various things via the Bluetooth app and let me see if I can demonstrate that real quick since the Wi-Fi is enabled so Turn on your Wi-Fi signal and it's looking for it and there it is ICCU3 you click on it and you better have a password for it comes as a default with the password and that is all capitals default one and you join and you're basically in there. And once you're connected, here's the app, your Polera app. You connect to your ICCU. And that's just one of the things that the screen provides. If you just wanna go ahead and uh, interact directly without your phone, well, there you have A, B, C, and D, all the four channels. Uh, for push buttons in which you can uh, place calls if you need to there you go place calls in there and so forth and that's just another tool another tool is the display status different from the LEDs on their older version the display status gives you various options and what depending on what you're looking for for instance the face status so if you select that so you can see what the push buttons are doing the calls that are coming in which boot push buttons um, since we ID each of the buttons uh, we can easily tell here which one of the buttons has gotten a call 
what phases it's calling and so forth. That's one of those. Another option is that if you're not using the 50 pin connector, um, which is this one right here, and you're going through the SDLC, well then also you can check the status on the unit and it basically tells you that it's connected to the bus interface unit that runs throughout the cabinet. And then you have system information here. There it is. It just tells you the software version and so forth. To update the version software on the CCUs is so easy. Again, we have the we use our laptop, but very rare. It's ever since we knew how easier it was going to be to just go through our phones, that's basically all we do. We update the version, the software version through our phone. We upload and download anything that we need from any of the CCUs that are installed. So that was one of the major improvements that I noticed in their product so there's the old unit again we're no we're, we discontinued it because our clients are interested also in what this new product is doing the, basically all we're doing is supplying power through this cable the PLC and we ran that cable and we supply the power to the uh, interface board here and since there's no polarity well of course we we keep it a somewhat uniform but we don't have to worry about positive and negative in these buttons because there's no polarity but just for the sake of uniformity we kept red as what we will call positive and then white is our neutral so the red wire signifies the east and west buttons and the black signifies that that is a north or south push button and as far as installation in the cabinet goes that's it and of course when it comes down to using the SDLC there's some programming involved in the controller which that would be a whole different subject but when it comes down to the CCU there's some programming involved which you would do through the phone app rather than the screen here but again it's fairly simple those steps can be completely bypassed if you just use the 50 pin uh, connector and you just hardwire all your pet inputs into the back panel but that's one way to do it but again why do that when we have the SDLC option which is a lot better we have this Y cable since we ran out of uh, SDLC cables so we added this Y cable so that we can extend to some of our other units that also require an SDLC cable. But again, this is a TS2 configuration. If we were in a TS1 cabinet, then we could be talking differently when it comes to uh, interfacing with the controller and how the inputs get to it. So now let's now let's review the push buttons and of course as you can tell obviously the push buttons gotten smaller and different and we've showed the installation process of that in one of my earlier videos but now 
as I mentioned, we're gonna basic. But now we're let's focus on how we are interacting with these push buttons. Again, they have. Wait, wait to cross Sheridan at Mickey Mantle. Wait, traveling north. Wait. So here's how we're doing that through uh, an Apple phone. I don't know that they have an Android Wait. app yet, but on the Apple phone, Wait. basically you turn on your Wait. Bluetooth Wait. and there you have, it populates Wait. the buttons that are in range, but the Wait. strongest signal remains in top. Wait. Now, we ID this button and so let's, let's corroborate that we're actually in this button 19, it says sec 17, that is southeast corner 15, 14, 13, six that's 12, phase six which 11, is our northbound 10, 9, so that is this 8, button 7, so i'm going to click 6, on it 5, 4, and it prompts 3, 2, 1. and it prompts us to a pass <laughs> so another feature of the push button is the design in how they the technology that they implemented in the tactile wait, wait, feeling of the Sheridan. push button. Wait, they have, I believe, a soft, a medium, wait, and wait, a hard mode in which the button can drive. feel different when Mickey you push Mantle the button. Drive. At times, if you have it on the, on the hard 14, setting 13, I believe 12, it feels like as 11, if you weren't 10, pushing anything nine, these are wait, I believe on wait, the medium because you can tell you feel it and there is a wait, vibration as you west. push the button wait. but in comparison wait. when it comes to the size well you can wait. tell the difference right away the other button was a lot wait. wider it had a, a little access point Wait. where you would have to plug your laptop to the program Wait. and download the voice messages with well, this one here you Wait. can just forget about that you don't have to do that Wait. the only times you would have to do that is if you want needed to change the arrows direction or here's another thing you don't have to buy an entire push button if you wanted black buttons because the button itself it's black no matter what model you get they're all black Mickey Mantle Drive walk sign is on the cross Mickey Mantle Drive what you would have to change is this cover here that it's yellow 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 Five, this four, cover three, has two, these screws one. here. You take those out and put the black cover on it, and now you have a black push button. Yeah, the only thing yellow would be this sign, which you can change it to a black one if you really care that much. But that's how quick, as opposed to in the past, you would have to completely get rid of the push button and order a black one well I hope I was able to share something of value with you if I did please be sure to leave a comment give it this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also be sure that you check back on more material that will be coming out in, in the next couple of weeks if you have any questions or any suggestions on future material feel free to also leave that in your comment until next time you guys be safe please be sure to consult the menu of uniform traffic control devices and compare it with your local authorities before attempting any of these practices thanks for watching